What's up, guys? It's Adam and Tony, and Treyarch just finished their E3 live stream. I streamed all of it, we talked about it, we went into it, but I'm going to go into a few things that I wanted to point out, some standout moments from the stream, raw, uncut, we're still going at it, we're just going to get this video out pretty quick, we want to talk about it. Let's start with the fact that Classified is confirmed, 5 Remastered, because it takes place in the Pentagon. Now, is it a remake? Who knows? Who cares? It is Pentagon, it is practically 5. He said there's a new artistic spin on it, so I feel like there's definitely going to be a lot of differences. It's not going to be straight five remastered kind of like how the giant, you know Doris never had like the snow or like the robot in the background So we're gonna be go looking at something kind of like that and I'm definitely okay with that And I'm definitely looking forward to seeing it. Do you want to know why? It is confirmed 1.0 characters in Classified. We have the Ultimus crew coming back, the 1.0 versions, the original characters. Jason Blundell did it in the smoothest way because this dude in the crowd said he won a bet with it being Fire Remastered. He's like, okay, really? Well, then what crew is it? And then he straight up tells us, and that is insane, the fact that he decided to tell us that right now. Because, uh, I mean, there was no trailer for anything. I was expecting maybe a trailer or two, and I'm not really disappointed that there wasn't because they gave us that and tons more information, some exclusive stuff. And then I feel like Comic-Con, that's when they're going to really let loose with some gameplay trailers. So now we have some stuff to talk about, but yeah, 1.0's confirmed and 5 remastered, confirmed, it is insane. Apparently there's gonna be links with like how like regular 5 actually happened and stuff like Ascension. This is gonna be crazy. This is just what Jason said just literally fucking minutes ago. So then with that now, it means that mutations and everything will be working in classified just like with every other map. So, all right, that's dope, but what is some stuff we learned about the customization, these mutations. Well, we learned about, you know, how we'll have our choice of starting weapons. You know, we can pick a different starting weapon for every game, so that's perfect. And then we can choose our equipment. So I'm assuming like grenades or if like we want to have monkey bombs or arnies maybe, we can switch between those two. So that would be cool. We get our own special weapon to take through the map and take through the game and level up and like progress with so by special weapon i'm assuming they mean stuff like kind of like the annihilator or like the sword and it's the skull of non-stopway like that we get to have our own version of that we get to level up and progress with throughout the game and that is the coolest sound and shit but there's actually one thing that's even crazier than that is that we will be getting perk vapors now he said there's going to be a set of like 10 of these meaning we get to choose what perks are readily available in the map before we play it we get to choose the perks in the map do we get to choose phd let's let's hope i, I mean that's gonna be crazy you can change up the way that you play so much because like you know you pop a perkaholic it's just only the perks on that map or maybe it's just all the perks that could be on that map you get to choose what is where and when and why you know that's definitely gonna be interesting especially for things like you know mob of the dead remastered blood of the dead or classified i mean you know when you look at five it only had the original four perks and then you'll kick after moon but it's really going to be crazy to see what you can do with that kind of thing. Like, there's going to be specific perk locations, I bet, that you can, like, choose where it goes. Or maybe you just choose what's in there and then the locations are changed every game. That's going to add a lot of replayability, honestly. And that is fantastic. I love hearing that. Replayability and innovation is one thing that Treyarch is really good at. So, that's just a quick little overview of the E3 stream. I just wanted to get this video out really quickly so that everybody can see it. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. And make sure that you tune in for more streams related and as well as more videos. And I will be seeing you guys in the next video and stream. This is at the moment, Tony. Signing out. Peace.